My name is Anis California. Welcome to how to configure an adaptive load balancing for a QNAP device. I'm recording this video for personal training and it will take about 5 minutes. This video is the best view for a level 1 or level 2 engineer. So, let's start. The devices I'm going to use in this video are a QNAP TS453A and a QNAP TS253A. And as you can see, with the QFinder Pro, the TS253A is discovered with only one IP, while the TS453A is discovered with four different IP addresses assigned by the DHCP service. And I'm now connected to the control panel of the TS453A. And if you go to Network and Virtual Switch, you can see the four physical adapter connected to the switch. Where the first one is at the default gateway with the IP210, while I'm connected through the management using the 212. And what I'm going to do now is to go to port tracking. I'm going to select all the four physical adapters in the flag warn me if a network cable is disconnected from the tracking group. In general switch I'm going to leave everything by default. And I'm also leaving the default configuration as adaptive load balancing or balance ELB. And as you can see, the CoFinder Pro is now discovering the TS453A with only one IP. And this is a new network configuration in place with a balanced ELB protocol for the four different network adapters. You can also configure the IP in a static way or using the DHCP. You can also assign a different VLAN if needed. I'm going to show you the same for the TS253. A, where the device has only two network cards. And the switch I'm using on those QNAP devices is a Netgear ProSafe Plus series. And we are now near the end of this video, so the final test is to unplug a physical cable from the switch. And now everything is back to normal. 
and if you activate the notification, this is the mail you will receive. Okay, so thank you for watching this video and uh, if you enjoy it, subscribe on my channel or let's keep in touch through my website. Bye!